family and friends, we've gathered here this evening to be witness to this joyful occasion of seeing Michael and Sonny join in holy matrimony. The two of you, just like two individual threads woven together to create a beautiful tapestry, so too shall your lives be woven in together to create a beautiful marriage. Sunny Joy, your parents could not have named you more appropriately. You have such a joyful, peaceful, warming nature about you that from when you walk into a room, it can't not be noticed. I'm proud to say that I've watched you grow from a young boy to a man and a father. I can't promise you that I'll be here the rest of your life, but I can promise you that I will be here eternally for the rest of my life, to be your confidant, your friend, your father, but most of all, a counselor. I can't express how proud I am. Michael, I have loved creating a life with you by my side, and I'm excited to keep building up what we have between us. With you by my side, I am happier and healthier. In front of our friends and family today, I promise you these things. To be my best self for you, for Hayden, and for any kids to come. I promise to bring joy and excitement and fun to our family. and to not let the stress of everyday life take away the light from our marriage. I promise to stand by your side and encourage you to be ambitious about your dreams, to always enjoy your hobbies, and to never settle for being mediocre. I promise to be a godly wife, a godly mother, and to keep God at the center of our marriage and family. I promise to take our problems to the foot of the cross and to lay them down. I promise you my tender love unshakable loyalty and unending forgiveness. I promise to fight for our marriage and never ever flee. Hayden, if you'll come up here. As I promise my love and support to your dad, I offer the same to you. I know I wasn't there for your first steps, but I promise you that I will love you every step you take for the rest of your life. I promise to strengthen the bond that you share with your dad and to never come between you. I promise to always listen, to always cheer you on, and to lift you up. I will always be here for you as a protector, as a friend, and a professional bag holder when you and your dad go on roller coaster rides. <laughs> you have brought me so much happiness and I'm lucky to be part of your life. Thank you for sharing your dad with me. Sonny, being the type of genuine, genuine person you are, I knew you would want to choose to write our own vows. And I'm not going to lie that I've admitted, I can admit to watching you the past few weeks worry if I've even started mine. I continue to think how loved I am by God that He brought me here. He has brought me my soulmate. I am extremely fortunate that I have found the woman who loves me unconditionally, inside and out. Hayden and I are both beyond lucky to have someone who is caring, who is unselfish, and as loving and understanding as you are. You are so many great things to me, and I hope and pray that I can be everything and more for you. I vow to always be there for you regardless of the situation. I vow to always love and cherish you 
the amazing qualities you bring to a marriage and our family. I vow to always love and respect you as my wife and as the mother of my future children and as the wonderful mother you have become to Hayden. Words cannot express how I feel with the level of acceptance you have given him. I vow to always be my best version of a good Christian man I can possibly be. I vow you to continue to prove my relationship with Christ, to improve my relationship as a Christian man and father for the one I've been designed to be. I vow to be a faithful and loving, dedicated husband and to put no one above you. I vow to always love you in the good days and bad. Through the ups and downs, I vow to never quit nor give up. And to always seek counsel from God and the wonderful examples of our friends and family who surround us today. And to always be the man you fell in love with. To be the man you laugh and cry with and the man you take adventures with. I am beyond excited that you'll take this adventure with me. I love you forever. Sonny, by the power vested in me in the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Michael Castro.